The Castel Sant'Angelo figures prominently in the history of Rome and the history of the church. This indestructible fortress was built in the year 125 as the tomb for the Emperor Hadrian. Later, the popes used it as a residence, a secure fortress, and a high security prison. Now the castle's entrances are open, allowing the hidden secrets of the place to be revealed. It's a personal view of the history of Rome and the church. Castel Sant'Angelo Castel Sant'Angelo reflects the history of Rome. Like Rome, it came about during antiquity. Then it grew with the city and transformed it. The building's use has changed depending on who is in charge of the city. Tourists pass through this entrance now, but before you would have seen emperors, popes, soldiers and prisoners going through. In the year 1200, the tomb of Hadrian was used as a fortress by the popes for protection and defense against attacks from the barbarians. It was very important because the Vatican was outside the city walls, and so it had no way to defend itself. Gradually, Castel Sant'Angelo became a second residence for the popes. Each successor of Peter improved the structure and its interior. During the pontificate of Nicholas V, a papal apartment was built inside the castle. It was decorated by his successor, Alexander VI. In 1500, during the pontificate of Paul III, use of the castle reached its peak. It's decorated to show the political role the Pope had at the time. And to do this, historical figures such as Alexander the Great were depicted, also since Pope Paul III's real name was Alessandro Farnese. With the construction of St. Peter's Basilica underway, the papal residence of Castel Sant'Angelo started to lose its importance. After the pontificate of Paul III, there were few changes. The decline in use of the building began, and it was converted into a prison and a barracks for defending Rome. Here in these cells are where some of the most dangerous prisoners, or people who'd committed serious crimes against the papal states, were held. Soldiers lived in the other rooms. When the castle became property of Italy, the country maintained it and turned it into a museum documenting the history of Italy, the church, and the arts.